Good evening and welcome to The Experts, where we gather a panel of experts to discuss the latest headlines of interest to me. My first guest is on a quest to end childhood obesity, and that's when she's not spending time with her husband, the President of the United States. Please welcome First Lady Michelle Obama. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> also joining me today is a female truck driver, Kay Ann Squirt Higgins. Hi, Brian. I uh, want to just get out there. I've driven my truck all night from Shaky Town here to the Big Apple. Greek yogurt. I'm a little tired. Truckload of Greek yogurt? Yeah, Greek uh, yogurt. For, and Shaky Town being? Oh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah. Shaky Town. Finally, our last guest failed to get into the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna, but did manage to spark a worldwide conflagration that cost over 60 million lives. Please welcome Chancellor Adolf Hitler. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Sure. Uh, and thank you. I guess for wanting to know my opinion on things. Yeah, well, we are always curious here. We like to gather a bunch of people and, and talk about events. And there are no right or wrong answers, just so you know. Okay? We're That's just a dangerous. Are you f for real? I'm for real. Okay. First, the first thing, Michael Jackson will be advertising a, in a new campaign for Pepsi. You may have remembered that uh, Michael Jackson is dead, and, and it's fairly recent. Um, but Pepsi has chosen to use him uh, 28 years after the Flaming Hairgate incident. Uh, to, to reintroduce Pepsi to the American public. Do you think it's too soon? Maybe not. Maybe not. I think that uh, Pepsi is quite unhealthy anyway. So maybe it's best if you use a dead person to advertise for that so children could know, oh, drink Pepsi, I will die soon. You will die soon. Okay, okay Ann. Well, I like Pepsi. Mm -hmm. Keeps me awake on the road. Oh, there was one time, okay? <laughs> I was going to Bikini Town, which is what? Truckers call Florida. Okay. Flor all of Florida is called Bikini Town. Bikini Town. I was driving, and I was just so exhausted, and I was like, I gotta get myself up. So I pulled off to this rest stop, okay, and I go in, and I'm like, Squirt, are you on LSD? Because there's nothing but Native Americans in this rest stop, and I'm not talking about like just normal plain clothes Native Americans. I'm talking about. Ceremonial headdress Native Americans with feathers and stuff, and tom toms and. I'm and I was like. Warren. Whatever. And I was like, what is happening? And I like, couldn't believe it. And I'm like, that Native American is getting a chili dog. I'm definitely on LSD. Like, what did you drink, squirt? And I just load up on Pepsi, and I go to the counter, and I pay for it, and I sped the heck out of there. So I like Pepsi a lot. Hitler. Yeah. Uh, if I ran the world, and you know. You tried. Oh, yeah. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Uh, I hate uh, Michael Jackson, I hate Pepsi, I hate commercials, uh, and so, but you know, at a certain point, what does that, what does that even mean, uh, my opinion? Uh, but I would say, it, I don't like the idea of him being uh, reanimated using computers. Uh, to my way of thinking, it'd be much more inspirational for Pepsi if they reanimated him using some sort of religious relic uh, scattered across the globe. Uh, you know, to, to you know, make a zombie army of him or mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, everything now is CGI and it's just su super fakey. You know, I, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Do you have a, a problem with, with someone who is dead being used to market something? Yeah, I mean, uh, quite frankly, and this is not to disrespect your question, but does Hitler have a problem with blank? Yes. Also, if the idea is to demonize Pepsi, why not use Michael Jackson as someone who has possibly abuse children, right? and then children know, stay away from Pepsi, you might get touched. Let's go on to uh, this technological disconnect that we're all experiencing. Uh, I was at Starbucks today, and I, I noticed that out of 10 people, six of them were staring at their iPhones, iPads, and, and are we turning into a society where we're just pretty much ignoring everything around us, Michelle? I think so. I think it's a, it's a shame, you know? You're not connecting at the dinner table. You're not you're not communicating with each other. When you're at the dinner table, is that how your family operates? Oh, no, no, no. No one's allowed. Well, Barack has his Blackberry. He does have an out. He is the president, so I guess he can. But how do you, I mean, your, your kids, strict father. rules? He's also a, a True, father. True, father as well. I'm sorry. So, take that and back. Yeah. my husband. We don't need to you get don't into that. Here? That's just me rehashing things that I talk about every week. Sure. If I could just jump in here real quick, I want to say I would turn my Blackberry off for you. Oh, that's very sweet. Because you are a beautiful, fit, smart woman. Like, thank you. Okay, and I could get over the fact that you aren't real keen on Michael Jackson because you earned that. Do you think we need some kind of 
etiquette class for how to use our electronic devices, Kayan? I don't know anything about an etiquette class of any kind, okay? Some people will look at me and they would say, Squirt, you probably don't have the best manners. They'd probably be right, okay? I pick my teeth sometimes. Sometimes I pass gas or burp when I shouldn't. Because usually it's just me in that rig, you know, and I can do whatever I want. No one cares, okay? Usually. Sometimes they're just visitors, sometimes not, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when I get off the road, Brian, I want to connect with people. If I see a lady in a cafe, I might go up and say, like, hi, my name is Cayenne. You can call me Squirt. And, like, can I buy you a coffee? She says yes, and then I buy her a coffee, and I say, would you like to see my rig? And she says, sure, and then we go out and I show it to her. Okay. And that's that. Uh, and if she says, hey, why is your nickname Squirt, what, what answer does she get? I say that's a family secret. Family secret. Uh, Mr. Hitler? Uh, do you think there should be some kind of uh, etiquette manual that comes with our, our electronic devices to, to remind us how to behave with these things? Oh, certainly. I, I wouldn't even hang it on uh, uh, electronic devices. I think there should just be more etiquette uh, in general, uh, how people behave. And part of the reason why that is, is uh, it's more of a generational thing. Like in my day, it was uh, 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 phonograph. Everyone is listening to phonograph. No one speaks in the parlor anymore. And so I think that the, the boogeyman changes. For a time, it was like, oh, Hitler will kill you. And then after that, it was, you know, like, uh, you know, like big cars, cars with fins. And then after that, it was hippies. You know, like, there's always something. There's like always something. That's like now it's like Al-Qaeda like is all you right. hear about. And right. so, like, I think uh, what we need to do is what are our morals in general that guide us through every trial for every generation? And don't ask me because, obviously, you don't want to hear it from me. But, uh, you know, what what... What strengths can we draw on to, to handle any, to challenge any problem? Fair enough. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this next phrase that comes out of my mouth, but I agree with Hitler, okay? We Finally. Are, oh, God, it's been so we long. We are. One. I, I never thought ever heard I'd ever say that, but before, I think we yeah. are disconnected, okay? I don't want a text message relationship, okay? I want to see you face to face. Do you feel me, Hitler? I definitely do. Okay? Thanks. Breastfeeding in public. All right, there seems to be a war ongoing right now between moms who want to breastfeed their children and people who have a problem with it. There have been... A woman was thrown off of a flight in Vermont. She just sued Delta for that. The woman asked to leave Target. Another woman asked to leave McDonald's. All for just breastfeeding, which is a perfectly natural, and if you ask any pediatrician, a very good thing for a child that passes on the immunizations and things you don't get uh, from formula. Uh, what is your attitude about breastfeeding in public? Yes or no? Yes, most definitely. Breast milk is healthy. It's healthy for the baby. It's healthy for all of us, really. If they could sell breast milk in stores, I would buy it. What are you doing at my rig, Michelle? Please step on in. Okay. You can uh, come uh, over if you uh, like to, Michelle. You can see the back of this rig. Lay down. Hey, Ann, hey. I don't know I've done in this rig. There's a woman in here, and I will shoot you. Y'all, I'm real sorry about That's right. that. That's right. I'm not the. Uh, the I'm road not is a dangerous place. Okay. Yeah. For ladies, of all orientations, sometimes you just gotta be prepared. Okay. Um. What was the question, Brian? If Michelle's pro-breast, I'm pro-breast. Breastfeeding? Yes, whatever. Breastfeeding. Uh, do you have kids? Have you... No, no, no. Keeping ankle biters in the truck is a bad idea. You know, it's okay. barely enough room for two females to fit in the back there on the little bed. I couldn't have any children in there, too. It's just too much. Hitler, how do you feel about breastfeeding? I would definitely throw someone out of a plane uh, uh, um, for breastfeeding. Uh, that would be a great joy to me. Uh, breastfeeding, obviously, is offensive to the, the proper mind. Uh, and just anything with women or babies, or, uh, you know, uh, family, or affection. These things are all red flags, big, uh, not red flags, like, I don't know, what's a bad flag, green flags or something. So you have a real serious problem with, with breastfeeding. Ladies right. gotta feed babies, Brian, okay? Yeah. That's the safest. Well, they don't have to. I mean, babies starve, and, and that just happens. No, I it doesn't. talk to him. I mean, not normally. Things could happen, you know, like if you didn't feed babies anymore. This is why I feel like I was punished for being a dreamer. You know, like I was punished for saying, just like, what if? Oh, Brian, you did say there Remember. are no wrong answers. Kayan, you are, See? yes. You, you can are. call me I mean, squirt. And Eight. as a squirt. hypocrite, you would be killed. Hitler's with me. That's the thing we do. Certainly. I, this is the thing I do all the time, but not to piss <laughs> people. <laughs> to my enemies. That is update. Yeah. <laughs> with me. That is all the time we have for this week's BS of A. Now, if there's anyone you'd like to see on The Experts, please email us at theexperts at gbtv.com. Or you can leave us a message on our Facebook page or, or send us a tweet on Twitter, whatever you want to do. Uh, we'll see you next week for a brand new episode of the BS of A. Good night. <laughs>